Here we're double checking the dose of azalazine for this 61 kilogram pet weather. Cleaning the skin with methylated spirits and cotton wool. Palpating the neck to find the jugular vein. So it's getting 15 units in a 0.5 mil syringe of azalazine anaesthetic. So the goat is well restrained. Now it's getting the two local blocks per side. The first block is the infratracheal nerve. It's getting one mil just under the skin. I draw back, make sure I'm not in a blood vessel and injecting one mil. You can see how close that horn is getting to the skin. Now I'm palpating the zygomatic arch and injecting deep to get the corneal branch of the lacrimal nerve. So getting ready to do the other side. You can see the goat is getting sleepy. The pupils are contracting. Again, one mil for the intratracheal nerve. And two mils for the corneal branch of the lacrimal nerve. Drawing back again, make sure I'm not in a blood vessel and giving two mils of lignocaine. Now the goat is getting ready to drop. So the goat is deeply anaesthetized. Its respiratory rate has slowed from the pre-anaesthetic rate of 28 per minute. Now the embryotomy wire is placed at a position where we think there will be no blood vessels. The embryotomy wire both cuts and to some extent cauterizes the horn tissue. Takes a lot of effort to cut through that horn. Now that's left some sharp edges that could be cut off with a file. So you can see the sharp edges there. So we could use a file and cut in this case we're using the power tool. Now the embryotomy wire is used on the other side. 
So with experience, you can guess where there's less likely to be a blood supply to that horn. has sharp edges again so these will be trimmed okay. Look at his tongue. So you can see the goat is still asleep. Dribbling too. It's dribbling, his tongue's out. Eyes are semi closed. Now we're using the electrocordery set to just seal blood vessels that have been exposed. On this side you can see the blood vessel there and that's just been cauterized so it doesn't bleed. So you're going to need aqua juicy? Yeah. The goat is now being moved into a more upright position so it doesn't bloat as it's recovering. So the goat can now hold up its head and it is recovering from the anaesthetic. So hopefully those horns will grow back in a different way and won't need to be repeated. <laughs> 